Hello everyone! Alright, so after splashing my face with cold water in the morning, I apply the Chanel Hydra Beauty Serum as my moisturizer. It's hydrating, yet it doesn't leave that tacky feeling all day. And then for my eyes, I apply the Basha Amino G eye treatment all over my eyes so that I can prevent wrinkles and then I love to tap it so that I can help good circulation around the eyes. Tap, tap, tap! And then to moisturize and prep my lips for any lip products that I'm going to use later, I apply the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. Sunscreen is crucial for anti-aging, so I like to concentrate where I need it the most and then apply it all over my face. As different as can be, I've noticed your even though my brows are already dark and fuller than most people, I still like to fill it in so that there isn't any sparse areas and this will really help frame my face. So I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Basic Palette so that I can apply some of the brown and a little bit of the black to the ends of my brows and a little bit on the front. How are you, my darling? Today I fall into a pile on the floor and then I go over it with a brush so that everything will look soft and natural. And to have a barrier between my skin and the makeup that I'm going to apply, I'm using the Smashbox and Hydrating Primer. And to apply my foundation, I like to use the Beauty Blender with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. What I like to do is to apply it directly onto my face first so I can save some product and most of my product won't end up in the beauty blender. The beauty blender definitely makes my work so much faster as well as so much easier. As you can see, the blending is really fast and seamless, which is great. You can't really see where the foundation starts or ends. And I really want that for an everyday look, you know? You want that natural, like, you have perfect skin look. <laughs> Follow you home, careful to walk behind you. I climb up a tree. After a layer of the foundation, what I really like to do is go back into my problem areas, which I like to kind of even out my skin tone right up above my cheeks where a lot of my freckles are. And I apply another layer on it. And also at this time, I'm going to apply my concealer for my under eyes. And this will help the concealer as well as the foundation right on my cheeks to blend in beautifully together. I use a smaller end for concentrating under the eyes and then I flip it over and use the larger side to blend out larger surface areas. And to set my makeup, I like to use the new Chanel powder with my Makeup Forever Kabuki angled brush. I love the way that it's tapered because I can go directly under my eyes very fast and easy and it's super duper soft. And then I use the bronzer from NYC in Sunny to contour and bring some color back into my face a little bit. After discovering bronzer, I cannot live without it. It is just too flattering for the face and if I didn't apply it, you could definitely tell. And for my blush today, I chose my Dior Rosy Glow in this beautiful pink color. On my cheeks, I am applying the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And now onto my eyes, I like to just have a simple eyeliner 
on my eyes and I think it makes a big difference for my Asian eyes. So what I do is I use the MAC Fluid Line in Black Track with an angle brush to outline the liner. And the reason why I like to use a gel liner is because I can actually go really deep into the lashes so that it can look very bold and there isn't any skin or space showing. And as you guys probably already know from my videos, I like to flick out my liner a little bit just because it does help elongate my eyes. I find that my eyes are a little bit too round. Today, I fall into a pile on the floor. But if you guys do have more elongated eyes, try to apply the liner a lot thicker in the middle of the eye and don't try to pull and wing out the liner. To set as well as to intensify the color on the liner, I am using my favorite Physicians Formula Liquid Liner on top of the gel liner. I find this is the best way to get the perfect color as well as getting the perfect intensity that I love. With whatever that is left on that angle brush with the gel liner that I used earlier, I apply a little bit of it onto my bottom lash line. This helps make my lash line look a lot more fuller. And then using my Shu Uimura eyelash curler, I am curling my lashes and applying my favorite Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. Today I fall into a pile on the floor. Poppy love is hard to ignore. And then I'm just using the same mascara onto my brows lightly just to keep it tamed. And for my favorite part is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. This is really great to help prevent transfer throughout the whole day from your mascara as well as from your liner. And my favorite at the moment everyday color is MAC So Vain, the kissable lip gloss that I got from the CCO. It's a beautiful coral color that I think works perfectly. It's not shiny. It's a really great, just velvety look. And that is it, you guys. We are done with the look. I hope you guys enjoy me sharing with you my daily makeup routine. And hopefully you got some tips from it. Alright, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye!